Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox Indian Norwegian Adventures, and again, welcome to my workbench. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India, and this is one of those cheap balance you see all over AliExpress, eBay, Amazon, and everywhere else. And AliExpress sponsored me with this one. And first of all, I have to say that 99 out of 100 things I get from AliExpress are good quality. This, however, is not. Um, if you look here, you can see that the, <laughs> the insulation is stripped way too far in and you have exposed wiring here. You also have exposed wiring on the inside where you cannot see it. The turns are here and there. Also, this is supposed to be a 4 to 1 ballon. It is marked as a 1 to 1 balua. Um, so, I'm not sure if this is a 4 to 1. The packaging was marked with a 4 to 1. I haven't measured anything. But I reached out to AliExpress since they sponsored me with this and asked, should I just drop the review or should I make a video on fixing this ballon? And they said, well, go ahead, make a video of fixing it. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to take the, uh, take the torrid off here. I'm going to desolder the wires here and um, then I'm going to look at the traces try to figure out with a multimeter where they go and I'm going to rewire this as a one-to-one -one ballon just because it says one-to-one -one here and I like stuff to be what it says on the label. In order to do this we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers, side cutters, we're going to need some magnet wire to wrap the torrid with. I bought this magnet wire off of AliExpress. I've just barely tested it. It was dirt cheap. Um, I'll leave affiliate links for everything down below, including this ballon. You might not be as unlucky as I was with the ballon though. Um, we're gonna need some solder. We're gonna need a soldering iron. Uh, oh, this needs some, some work done. I'm gonna do that off camera. It's a little bit, needs to be titled a little bit. We're going to do that off camera. And uh, then we're going to start taking this thing apart, figure out what it, how it's, how the traces go, and make it into a one-to-one -one ballon. Not sure if we're going to be successful. Also, I have some solder wick here. What I don't have um, is some flux. So I'm going to try to do this without flux. If I'm not successful in doing this without flux, I need to go out and buy some flux. You won't notice anything, but I'm going to spend a little bit more time making this video. So let's just go straight ahead and do this. And if you don't know what AliExpress is, AliExpress is an online marketplace where you can get pretty much anything. And by anything, I mean clothes, auto parts, full-size campers, computer parts, computers, clothes, pretty much anything. You can get stuff that's good quality, bad quality, in the middle, and stuff that's fixable like this. With that said, and out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start desoldering here and see if we can figure out how to fix this ballot. And I think this soldering iron is hot enough, so let's just pre-solder it a little bit. Put some solder on here, clean that off, and see if we can somehow Put this ballon so it's easy to remove everything. And what I plan to do is just heat up the solder joints here and see if I can rip the wire out with the needle nose pliers. Um, so let's start with the first one here and see. And this is not a tutorial on how to solder because, as I've said numerous times, I am really bad at soldering. And I can see straight away that we need to either add some flux, which I don't have, or add some uh, add some solder here. It starts heating up a little bit here. Let's see if we can get... Yep, that came straight out, I think. Let's see. Yep. That came straight out. And then we're going to see if we can clean up these holes afterwards. Um, see if what we can figure out and what we can do. And I'm also going to just cut these zip ties here just so we can get a little bit easier access once we've removed the three soldered wires here. Let's 
let's go ahead with the next one and see what we can do there. I'm going to try to remove these first and then clean up the solder pads here because uh, I'll have a lot more space to work with then. So I'm going to do the same here. See if we can heat up. That went a lot easier. Then we have two out of three out of the way. Let's do the last one. And that came straight out. I'm going to see how this is soldered underneath here. There are three solder joints here as well. So let's loosen them and see if we can do the same there. Let's start with the first one and see if we can get this out. And this is probably not going to be the greatest one-to-one. -one. It's going to be a QRP ballon when I'm done. But it's going to be a tool in my toolkit. And uh, I'm thinking in my next video, after we've done the rewiring, we can put this on the Nano VNA and actually build a dipole with it. And I'm sure with a little bit of flux, this would have been a lot easier. Then again, don't have any flux here, so we'll just do our best. And these are not the right tools necessarily, but I really want to show you that you can do a lot of stuff with the tools you do have, even though they're not necessarily the right tools. Okay, we got that part done. Let's remove some hardware here and be able to have this a little bit more flush towards the table. So we're gonna just remove the hardware here just in order to make this a little bit easier to work with. And this bolt doesn't want to come off and that's actually a pretty good thing when you think about it because you're not supposed to be fixing these things. So we'll leave these here and I'm going to find a multimeter and we're just going to see where the traces go. With the multimeter here, I'm going to put that to continuity. You see, put it on the right one. Yep. First thing I'm going to do is see which of these pads go to the different post. So a goes to this, C goes to the other one, and the middle one is not used at the moment. Then we're going to see here, the outer part of the BNC connector goes to this one. And the inner part goes to that one. Let's see if we can do that and actually see the numbers. So the shield goes to A, C is not connected, sorry, B is not connected, and I'm guessing, let's see if I can get this in here and measure the center post. Okay, so we're going to wire A to A and C to C for the one to one part here. And the next step here is just to remove this horrible winding from this toroid. I have no idea what kind of toroid this is. Probably, I'm guessing, since this is about $6 over in AliExpress, not a very good one. We're still going to utilize this for this dipole project though. And the good thing by taking these out is that we'll have a rough idea on how long the enameled wire need to be. And I can tell you by just looking at this toroid that this is going to be QRP. There's not a lot of surface area to this one, but it's going to be good enough for what we're doing. 
let's see if we can actually manage to use some solder wick and uh, remove some of the solder from the hole. That'll make our soldering job easier. We're also going to keep these wires because they're going to tell us how long the enameled wires needing to be. And it doesn't really matter if we get everything out because we're still going to heat this up again and we'll be able to get the magnet wire through somehow. As I said, this is going to be a pretty quick and dirty repair here. Let's go ahead and wrap the bowl in here. <clears throat> and uh, one to one is pretty simple. It's just as many turns as you can, actually. So let's measure this out. Take a little bit more just in order to have something extra to work with. That's one. That's two. So let's go ahead and wrap this toroid. And if we look at this, we're going to come up about here. Then I'm thinking we're going to do counterclockwise turns just to the other side here and see if we can make this happen. And we're going to try to keep these as close as possible and try not to cross them over while we do this. And soldering is not the only thing I'm, I'm really bad at. Um, winding toroids is another thing that I'm not particularly good at that's good. Uh, I can get some practice doing that. I'm not sure how many turns we're going to end up with here. What I am sure with is that it's going to look a lot better with this enameled wire than it did with the original uh, poor wiring here. Let's just call it for what it is. <laughs> So, we're going to do one here and one in the other hole, and then at the same time get them here. So, we're going to cut these down a tiny bit. And as with enameled wire, we got to get the enamel off it somehow. And there are several tricks for that. I have two go-tos in order to get this done. One is using a nail file. The other one we're going to try now is using a Dremel. So let's uh, get the Dremel out and do that. And this isn't even a proper name brand Dremel. It's just cheap one I bought sometime. I don't even know when. So we're going to remove a little bit of enamel on the tip here. And some of this enamel will also probably burn off once we do the solder uh, soldering here. And with the enamel somewhat gone, we're going to check for continuity here. Get the multimeter out again. See if we can do this an easy way and only get one of these wires.
and we don't have continuity. It looks like we need to remove some more enamel here. Uh, I'm going to try this off camera though and see um, if we can get a better grip on it. And we got a somehow somewhat of a connection there, so we're going to try the other end here. I think we do have somewhat of a connection here. It's not good, but it might be enough. I want to check for continuity here, and as you see, it's it's anything but pretty. But uh, let's disregard that at the moment here, and just see if we have something that works. So let's first let's check that we haven't shorted anything. We haven't done that. We do have a connection here. Let's check the center pin. Yep. And no short here. Okay, I guess there's only one thing left to do here in order to make this semi-official and by the magic of video editing uh, two zip ties suddenly appeared here. So let's actually zip tie this down. That's one. Let's do the other one as well. And that's it. Our shoddy 421 or whatever it was ballon is now a less shoddy 1 to 1 ballon as it says down here 1 to 1 balua. And in case you were wondering, and I can't remember if I said this in the intro, um, AliExpress said that they wanted me to do a video on fixing this. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, and sometimes when I buy ham stuff, it's not what you expected. If you buy things at a ham fist or something, part of the hobby is fixing stuff. I did that now in uh, probably a terrible way, but let's face it, it's here, it's done. So um, we now have a one-to-one -one ballon. Next video, we're gonna make an antenna out of this, probably a 20 meter dipole. Take it out for a poda and see if it works. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to AliExpress for sponsoring me with this one and the magnet wire here and a whole different, whole lot of other gadgets here. I'll leave affiliate links for both the ballon and the magnet wire down below in case you should buy one yourself. And as I said, 99 out of 100 things I get from AliExpress are good quality. This was not. But as you can see, we're ham, we fix things. Thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up if that's your thing. Thumbs down if that's your thing. Leave a comment down below and uh, I'll see you in my next video and I'll see you down the bands. 73.